Morning, boys and girls. How are we all? Thank you for your advice, you lot, about that compressor of Scotty's. I've got no end of good advice on there uh, for your comments of what to check out for, what to look out for, what to test. Uh, so I'm going there now. I'm going to go and have a look at all your comments while I'm there, obviously, and look for them all. Between us all, surely we should be able to sort this compressor out. With all your lot's information, I should be able to get to the bottom of it today, I'm hoping. And I'm going to uh, grab that hub, that wheel hub, and see if we can get it welded. Obviously, it's a... Well, I've got no to lose, have I? I mean, if it eats it up, there's a bearing right close to it, so I can't get it red up, red up. But I don't know. We'll see, won't we? We can but try. And I've ordered my new uh, external microphone for this. A few lads on the comments said, uh, try an external microphone on it. It might fix it. So my little iPhone might get repaired by the external microphone, I'm hoping. Which should be here today, because I ordered that last night off Amazon Prime. So by rights, it should be here today, shouldn't it? By rights. So yeah. Let's see what today brings, guys. I've not had a very good week so far, have I? I've just been pissing in the wind for most of it. It's Friday! Yeah, it is. Bloody good show. Waiting at the train lines now. I'm the waiting man. Hey, we're up. Where is it? Where's my arch nemesis? The Doosan compressor. I can smell you're in this yard somewhere. Where are you? Where is it? Ah, it's over there. I spotted it. Ah, the Doosan compressor. Right, first job I'm gonna do is take that cover off there. And uh, steam clean the radiator out and oil cooler out properly. That's my first job. Let's get that back box off. Right, there's a bolt there, bolt there. Bolt there, bolt there, bolt on the other side. And then this should come off, I think. Too bad from the get go, but you can't see daylight through it. You're a man. No daylight, but. Steam it down, eh? Right, while I'm waiting for the steam cleaner to get set up, uh, I'm going to uh, look through your comments about this freaking compressor. Just to rejug my memory on what you all said about it. Right, Martin Casty, he said, uh, check the oil level in the separator tank uh, and check the air outlet. Put a clean rag into the air coming out and if the rag gets oily, the separator filter is faulty. In this hot weather, if the oil is low, fail safe kicks in. So I can try that, can't I? You know when I strike it up, put a rag in front of it. If it's got oil on it, obviously it might be the filter fucking bung. Engine oil, yeah, I've checked engine oil. Yeah. So that tank with the oil in is called a separator tank, Neil said. He said that the compressor tank you showed with the flange on it is a separator tank. The oil level should be three quarters of the way up the nylon sight tube, which it about is. Catch you on the next one, Benno. Woo Couldn't be a safety sensor in the air pressure side. Thinking it's building up too much pressure. Could be, couldn't it? But I mean, I've disconnected and bridged every sensor, individually obviously, I'll put it back now to normal. But just to try and find the fault, because another thing what Mondo said is, be careful what you're bridging over senses, because if you bridge one over, 
and it is actually a fault with the fucking machine, the machine could blow up obviously. You know, if it is getting hot, the oil or whatever, and we bridged it over, don't leave it bridged. Only bridge them to find the fault and then obviously you've got to fix the fault, ain't you? Which is a good bit of advice, Mondo, isn't it? Andy. I know mechanics that use Google on their mobile phones if they come across a problem. No, I don't do that. I've got my own channel, mate. I don't Google stuff. Yeah, someone said, here, look, can you weld the stub axle? Yeah. My way of thinking. Mark Tucker, he put, uh, stick the compressor in a freezer. Problem solved. <laughs> Hang on, what's Farmer Ash said here? Right, he says, look, if you take your hydraulic uh, rams off your cover, that top cover folds all the way back. And he says, there's, uh, go to the side with the starter motor, look at the compressor, and there will be a sensor right down at the bottom, screwed into the side of the compressor itself. That is the temperature sensor that will stop the compressor when the oil gets too hot, and will not allow to restart until cool, which is what's happening. You can bypass the sensor with a bit of wire to try it, but only to try it, obviously, not a permanent fix. Cheers, Farm Rash. I'm going to go and look at that now. Well done, my son. Bloody good man. Have we got a steam cleaner, Rob? No steam cleaner, so I'll have to use the compressor to blow itself out, won't I? Yeah, ask Ale, Digger Diaries on YouTube. I've subscribed to him, you know, that Ale. It's quite good, he is. He uh, works on loads of diggers, JCBs and that. He's a good lad, check him out. LA Digger Diaries is good. Pure neglect said here. Uh, someone messed around with our output pressure on ours that kept cutting off. A Deuce came out to it and turned, turned it down. Because on the front of it, you've got like a tap where you can uh, turn your outlet pressure up or down with. These lads have turned it down and it does last a bit longer because obviously it doesn't overeat as quick. I'll show you look. I need to take these rams off here look. Farmer Ash says take them rams off and then that will fold all the way back there out of your way. Look on these rams look you just got to get your screwdriver in. There. And then crush yourself with the cover when it folds back at you. Oh, that's easy to get right now, Ash, isn't it? Look, it means that one there, look. That one there, the other day when I was fucking about with this, that was one of them, what I disconnected while the engine was running, and it stopped the engine. And that was one of them that I actually bridged over, but it still stopped the engine. But yeah, you're right, it does stop the engine, it does. I managed to get in like struggle. But as you say, look how quick that is, look. And look how accessible it all is now. There's some relays in here and all. Yeah, here, look, you can turn the revs up or down by that one. Turned it up to 100 psi. 
because that'll run his gun in that, you see, that's his normal working uh, pressure. And we're gonna try it again now, see how long it lasts. You'd never think there was that much shit in it, it just shows you. Obviously they've cleaned the radiator out, even I have, I blew the radiator out, but you can only get to the top half. And the bottom half is the oil cooling side. So obviously it wasn't cooling the oil, was it? It just shows you the importance of a clean radiator, doesn't it? All this aggro, all this time, and I'm pretty sure it's down to that radiator being clogged with that fucking boat stuff. He's just trying it now. been running now about half hour normally about two minutes that's it dead so that was it wasn't it never underestimate the importance of a radiator in it i can't believe it you always expect something's worse don't you freaking radiator don't they we've sorted it boys i'm going to leave that back cover off as rob says leave that back cover off and then they can visually see it and steam it out can't they because in this yard, there's loads of this fine foam and it gets fucking stuck everywhere, obviously. So if that cover's off, they can clean it out properly, can't they? Fix that, we have now. We did that as a team. Right, I'm just going to whip this wheel hub off this wheel uh, so that I can take it with me over here and get, get it welded. needs to be bent up what because because that sits in there where the fuck the thing what we're going to be struggling with that is if we do weld it obviously and it does hold is keeping the oil in the bearings because I mean that seal is very precise, isn't it? I've, uh, I've just messaged that Alice Digger Diaries. You know the lad off YouTube, obviously the Digger Man off YouTube. Fucking fly! I've just messaged him uh, saying, obviously that you lot said contact him if I was struggling, uh, but I've sorted it now, obviously. But uh, but I said that I'll give him a shout out. So go and watch his videos, you lot. Alice Digger Diaries. He's a good lad, fixes a lot of diggers, fixes a lot of, well, a lot of different stuff by the looks of it. But yeah, he's good content, so go and check him out. Give him some subs there, boy. Isn't it? Right, what about, I've got a list here. I've got a list to do here. Washer reservoir leaking, back door clips need locking out, reversing camera broken, uh, spotlight broken. We know what the crack is, come on. Yeah, I know my phone, the sound's gone. It's, it's being fixed, all right? I should have a speaker. What's up with this fly? Just go, look, I've got an open window there. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, yeah, I've got a uh, microphone coming out now. I can't use that iPad. I freaking hate it. It's just horrible. It's like it's zoomed in or something. So I don't like it. I prefer to be all... <laughs> Anyway, it's going to be fixed anyway. Get over it, all right? I'm going. I'm going to my next job, which is just over there, miles away. Oh, my side door, freaking out. Never end it. I've always said I was a bad YouTuber. I've either got no storage, got no charge. My phone's broke, there's always a problem. Everything's always a bloody struggle, isn't it? Welcome to the Strugglers Challenge, where you can't even hear what he's saying because he's struggling with his microphone. Right, take a pick of these lorries. Which one do you want? Take your pick. Here, I'll have this one, Beacon out. 70 ER 
this lot is here as well. Oh, look, I thought I'd get him on film, look. I just come out, I said, what are you doing with air? He says, I'm just checking my pollen filter. I said, that's a rarity, a driver that checks his pollen filter. Isn't it? Oh, my lens is mocking. <laughs> hey! There he is, the man of the moment. Come to tell me his problems. Does that help, kicking tyres? Yes. I've always heard that if you're going to buy a vehicle, that's the first thing you do. <laughs> Isn't it? What are you doing? Are you buying these trucks or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or are you kicking these tyres? <laughs> Isn't it? That's what we're doing, eh? No, my stuff in it. No, he's got three bottles of sauce. Yeah. But I need the keys, don't I? Oh, what, for this one? This one's got a bulb out, can't it? Freaking bulbs in it up there on that beacon. I've just said to him, uh, I'm going to get LED ones, obviously. Bulbs are so last year. Aren't they? Bulbs. Who the hell has bulbs in their beacons now? Oh yeah, I've got them in mine, but I would have one done. Mine's a struggler's bus. I don't know why that's not working, do you? It looks in perfect condition. Right, wash your reservoir leaking. Let's go and look at it around the front. Look, wash your bottle leaking when you fill it up. Look, look. Oh, why is that leaking? <laughs> it's not even connected to the bottle. <laughs> Yes, I've clipped that in. I managed to get my little skinny arm in there and clip that end in and then clip the other end in. You've just got to top it up now and that should be a good one, shouldn't it? That's what we like, a nice easy fix. Right, we'll uh, just take a photo of this spotlight that I need to get a new one of. And then I'm going to go to Partick and go and order some bits for these vehicles and take an old unit starter motorbike to Lee so he doesn't call me behind my back saying that I haven't bought him back the old unit. As if I would leave. I just realised I'm not going to make it to party. It's quarter six there. The shutter six is I'm not going to get there in time. Dushan compressor's got nothing on us. Catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe. You know.